last table, Clone Wars. Ironically, this is how every this is how every Clone Wars uh, animated series episode began. Not the same dialogue, but the, the narrator and, and the ro the famous iconic rolling credit um, prologue thing to get you in the story. Ironically, this table comes just as the actress and character of Ahsoka Tano has left the show. Uh, Ashley Eckstein was her name. And it's really a shame because um, the Ahsoka Tano character is very cool. Once again, I've changed the uh, dot matrix of Clone Wars to uh, blue, and boy, is that bad. That was a horrible start, talking or not. This Yoda voice is the voice they use in the animated series. It's the young Yoda. Young by, oh, 50 years uh, from his appearance in the Empire, I guess. It is uh, not a Zen original voice. It is the actual one from the animated Clone Wars series. So people need to stop giving the uh, choice a bunch of crap. Because they're staying true to the Clone Wars animated series. You have the gunship at the top, and that eventually launches off, and you have to load a uh, pinball inside of it, and then hit certain targets by. Uh, the timer. A lot more easier to control this ball than any of the other tables for me. However, getting a council lit up and uh, going into one of the uh, animated character uh, scenarios can be very frustrating. There's also a clone trooper subfield at the top that gets you some big points if you can uh, knock down all the targets. Some of the other reviewers on YouTube I've been watching and they weren't too good. The game. And we're talking, they didn't even realize there were flippers at the top to uh, manipulate. See that? I just saved that gutter ball. ways you can handle multi-ball. Like this. Try cradling. Sending one ball up. And uh, holding on to the other. Oh! 
That's the problem with it, though. Anyways, I highly recommend these tables for Star Wars and pinball fans on whatever platform you need to get it. If you get it on the PlayStation Network, uh, you get... There we go. I can actually show you this. If you get it on the PlayStation Network, you get both the Vita version and the uh, PlayStation 3 version. And let me tell you something. Uh, it's hard to show you the graphics on a PlayStation Vita, but would you trust me? Zen has uh, not embarrassed themselves on the Vita. Okay, that's what we've been waiting for. If I can just get it into the little right side corner that's flashing. No. Okay, the one I do not recommend is Scenario War of Kostophis. Go for Cloak of Darkness. And you can see Asajj Ventress in the top corner if you had the right viewpoint. Of course, I'm talking and not paying attention, so I blew it. Anyways, it's a wonderful game. Check it out. Buy a single table, whichever one you watched that you thought was cool. Zen has done a wonderful job, and the best news of all, there are seven more tables coming down the line. Two more um, table packs, and one standalone table. Can't wait to see it. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.